Now it is my great honor to introduce the President of the United States, President Joe Biden. Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You fought two times. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, a lot can happen in 20 years, especially if you're a politician. You say one thing, and then 20 years later, you capitulate and say something else, right? But 20, 25 years ago, we had a bipartisan issue that both sides agree on. It was illegal immigration. And here we are. We have Bill Clinton saying this at a State of Union address, 1995. He says this. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country, are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace, as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. Yep, yep, that's Bill Clinton, all right. Sound like a conservative, sound like a racist, sound like a xenophobe, right? And then 12 years later, we have Barack Obama saying the same thing, but he even went as far as talk about the employment verification program. He says this. I think we should have strong border security. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense for us to allow hundreds of thousands of people coming through our borders without us knowing who, who they are. Uh, oftentimes in very hazardous situations uh, and unmonitored situations that uh, could, could do us long-term damage. I think we should have a serious employer uh, verification system where uh, employers, when they hire somebody, uh, find out what their uh, work status is, are they able to work here legally. Uh, right now, what employers will s say is, well, we check their Social Security card. That's the best we can do. So we've got to set up a tamper-proof system and then hold employers accountable. Yeah, yeah. Barack Obama. Don't even recognize the guy. He don't even sound the same. <laughs> right? Two years later, our Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer, this guy here. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Chuck Schumer said this, and he used stronger language. Let's go. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong, and we have to change it. Above all else, the American people want their government to be serious about protecting the public 
enforcing the rule of law, and creating a rational system of legal immigration that will proactively fit our needs rather than reactively responding to future waves of illegal immigration. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. Yeah, Chucky. You hear him? But now, everybody, all the liberals, all the Democrats have changed their tune because of one guy. Ever since Donald Trump was elected, they all done got amnesia. They all acting brand new now. All right? Just because Donald Trump became the president, they didn't want to give the guy no credit. They didn't want to help this guy to solve the problem. We have Nancy Pelosi here, didn't want to fund the wall. Are you willing to come up and give him some of this money for the wall? Because no. apparently that's the sticking no. point. No, nothing for the wall. We're talking about border security. Nothing for the wall, but that means it's Well, we can go starter. through this all, uh, back and forth. No. <laughs> How many more times can we say no? Nothing for the wall. They don't want to give them no extra border agents, nothing. They just tied them up with stupid ass lawsuits, right? But everybody was saying the same thing except Joe Biden. Joe Biden was always on the left, right? We have him here, 2016 debate, and he says this. Let's go. In the first 100 days of my administration, no one, no one will be deported at all. From that point on, the only deportations that will take place are commissions of felonies in the United States of America. So, so to be clear, only felons get deported and everyone else Period. gets to stay. Yes. Yes. So we cannot be surprised with anything that Joe Biden has done in 2024 in his presidency, because he's been saying this ever since. He's going to let him in. You have to be a felon. You have to be a criminal before he kick you out. So this is why we have an open door, uh, open border. It's no surprise. The only people that surprised are the black folks. Because I wasn't paying attention. He said this in his debate, and now he's doing what he said he's going to do. That's one of his promises. If you could, if you wish to answer, should someone who is here without documents, and that is his only offense, should that person be deported? That person should not be the focus of deportation. We should fundamentally change the way we deal with him. So All right. He even is going as far as changing the language. He don't want to call them immigrants. He don't want to call them migrants anymore. He call them newcomers. Let's welcome the newcomers, guys. That's your president. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you newcomers, get off my lawn.